Okay, so Xiaomi has a net worth of 38 billion and is considered quite a competitive manufacturer in the smartphone market. It holds, I think, like 20% of the smartphone market, so a decent chunk. And yeah, let's see what the top 10 facts are about Xiaomi as a company. Okay, number 10. At the moment, in 2022, half of Xiaomi's revenue is coming from outside of China. Now, this never used to be like this. It used to be more like a 75% of all income and revenue for Xiaomi was made in China. Changed because places like Peru have taken a 4,000% increase in revenue from Peru, Peru in a single year. That is just absurd and it shows how quickly Xiaomi is progressing. Okay, so number nine. Xiaomi has a voice assistant called Skio AI. I don't think I said that right, but basically they've given handicapped and disabled people a spot at Xiaomi. So there's 41 behind this AI. They train the AI, they do different things with it to help improve it. Now this shows that the smartphone market has not only the potential to create new technology and uh, and advancements in technology, it also has the ability to change lives for, for the better. Like these handicapped people ordinarily wouldn't have a job, but thanks to Xiaomi, 41 of them have a job. This isn't a large number thinking that there's like 4 million uh, handicapped or disabled people in Australia alone, but it, it's a start and a start is something. So Xiaomi's headquarters is called Mi Park. Um, they've invested over 5.2 trillion yuan into this project and it is sitting on an area of 3.4, sorry, 340 square kilometers. That is a big, big headquarters. Probably not as big as Apple's, but it is still a massive headquarters. It's got a total of five, six, six, six buildings on it, and they are all pretty much the same looking. Quite boring compared to, um, Apple's spaceship design, but as long as it achieves the purpose that Xiaomi has built it for, it doesn't really matter. Apple just had money to spend, so they put a bit of cash into the actual design of it, but Xiaomi just needs a building where they can improve and advance technology. Something quite interesting about Xiaomi is that they, during work hours, they promote physical exercise, so Basically, at work every day for two hours, you're not working, you're in the gym or the multiple running tracks, multiple gyms, multiple bike tracks. You are using them and doing whatever physical activity you want to. There's dancing, kickboxing, sprint races, bike races, all of that sort of stuff. It's interesting to see it especially during work hours, but I think it's for the better. Okay, so at Mi Technology Park, Xiaomi has a massive canteen. Now, this isn't the interesting part. The interesting part is that all waste food is used to make, uh, is decomposed into organic fertilizer. Um, it's called bio waste and it's Fertilize, it uses fertilize and it does that by decomposing the food scraps. It is possible to process eight to nine tons of bio waste here daily. That is an insane amount and it shows that Xiaomi is, has, has the ability and wants to make this world a better place. And it may be more expensive to do it this way, but I think they've just put the world and the planet before uh, the actual revenue, which is uh, it's just amazing to see. And it shows that the tech world has so much potential and it can help so many people and help the world in so many ways. It's just whether they want to do it or they're not. It's whether they want to do that or revenue. 
uh, it goes to show that it's all about the mindset. If you want to do something, you can do it. If you don't, you won't do it. Okay, so Xiaomi also owns 20 sports clubs. Now, these are for sports such as poker, ping pong, running, dancing, kickboxing, whatever. And they have so many people on board that, like, there's, like, proper athletes that are working with them. The, the, like, the best runner in their running club or whatever runs 300Ks a month. Xiaomi has had some crazy, crazy camera systems in the past and this is simply because of their R&D. They have their own department for, that's specialized in the camera and the camera modules that, and the camera software and all that sort of stuff. That They have nine centers across the world in places like Beijing, Tokyo, Paris, San Diego, all of them and it employs over a thousand people. Okay, one of the reasons that Xiaomi has been so successful over the last decade or so is that they have the world's biggest smartphone fan base in the world. They are so devoted to Xiaomi as a company and it is actually insane. This has led to numerous world records and one of them being most smartphones sold in a single day. Uh, the number was 2.2 million smartphones in one day. And if you multiply it by 317, which is the average price of smartphones in 2020, in 2014 when this record was held, um, you get to a grand total of $698 million of revenue in a single day. In a 24 hour time period they have made $698 million. That is just insane and you have to keep in mind that is only going off the average. So if those were all flagship phones all spec'd out it could have reached a billion easily. I just don't know what that exact figure is. Okay, so Xiaomi actually is Chinese for millet and rice. Now you might be thinking, what the hell does that mean? And it a, refers to a Buddhist concept and it signifies that Xiaomi wants to start from little things before aiming for the top. That is pretty much exactly what they've done and they've succeeded in every shape and form. Okay, number one, Xiaomi's founder actually started Xiaomi uh, when he was going through a midlife crisis. Now, most people wouldn't think, oh, I, I'm a bit short on money, uh, I'm going through a bit of a midlife crisis, let's make a massive multi-billion dollar company just because I can. But that's exactly what this guy decided to do and it's paid off, he's one of He's a very successful entrepreneur and he's living life pretty much and it shows that there's no reward if you don't put in a risk. Uh, he risked his life, his, he risked a lot of stuff to get to make Xiaomi and Xiaomi is now a very widely known company and it makes a ton of profit and it's because of his initial risk that we've got a reward, he's got the reward of Xiaomi. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you loved, if you liked this video. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.